Good afternoon, everybody. I've been waiting an extremely long time to say this. It's a great day in Aggieland. Yeah, thank you all so much. It's so good to see so many of our loyal supporters, the media that comes out and covers our games. That's been a, a long time coming. We have guys that are leading by example within our program that are doing the right things in the classroom and on the field. And it is shown in our workouts and we can't wait to kick it off Thursday night in Winston-Salem against Wake Forest. A lot of things have changed and happened within our program that we believe will give us a chance to compete at an elite level. We have a full-time sports nutritionist on staff now that have really helped craft uh, a fuel station for our players, so pre and post workout fuel that we were missing last season. Our weight room staff is fully staffed now, so you know everyone is getting coached when we're in the weight room. We've added some different pieces to our football staff. I think you'll be excited to see with the coaches and some of the new additions to our team. And we've maintained our same focus and our purpose first and foremost for our players is to become educated men. And so that has not changed one bit. Our mantra going into this season has been and will continue to be that we're chasing excellence. We're chasing excellence in everything that we do in the classroom, on the, in the community, and on the playing field. And we talk about the pillars of our program now being excellent habits excellent preparation and excellent effort usually produces excellent results. And so I'm so proud of the work that our kids have put in throughout the winter conditioning, spring ball, and through training camp. We've been uh, very fortunate that uh, injuries have not really been a, a major factor for us through training camp. Uh, our guys have matured. There's great leadership amongst our team right now, and they know what it is. They know the standards that it takes to compete at an extremely high level. Yeah, I think, you know, maturity uh, and a greater understanding of what we're doing in all three phases of the game. You know, again, our kids have worked extremely hard. There's great leadership within our program. Um, and, you know, we expect to compete at a championship level, and I see that our players are believing that also. And we had three really talented quarterbacks now. Uh, Kevin White obviously played as a true freshman, showed some, uh, some dynamic ability to run the football. He's really matured as a passer. He's very comfortable with our offense right now, new offense. We brought in uh, Justin Fumley, a transfer student that's played a lot of football, who's got great knowledge of the game, uh, has brought tremendous leadership to our team and not just our offense. And then we signed Braxton Thomas, a, a freshman quarterback out of Florida who uh, kind of combines the best of both Kevin and Justin. He's a really talented runner, extremely smart young man and really uh, accurate touch passer. And so, you know, we feel, feel really good about that room. Um, we expect both quarterbacks to play. Uh, Thursday night, and we'll wait and see uh, until kickoff who's going to be named the starter. You know, most of you, if, you look, if you've looked at Coach Marsh's background, he comes from the air raid system of throwing the football around. But he's really been able to develop and implement offenses that can run the football very effectively. Uh, when he was at Campbell, they were in the top 10, 15 in the country and rushing offense. Uh, he's had uh, top 15, 20 uh, rushers in college football at the FCS level at Texas Southern. And I think what Coach Marsh has brought is creativity to our offense to feature the skill sets of our players. You know, I said it a multitude of time last year that we had the talent. We didn't do a great job of utilizing the talent. I think Coach Marsh has implemented, implemented a system that is very difficult to defend. We're not gonna be predictable. We have the ability to create explosive plays in both the run and pass game. And so very, very excited about this season.
Yes, yeah, so we're really excited about the backs in our program. Uh, Kenji Christian, Wesley Graves, and Shamik Blizzard all bring something different to the table as runners. Wesley is a power downhill back, does a great job of running behind his pads and breaking tackles. Kenji has elite speed and vision to see openings uh, and capture the edge when the defense voids force. And Shamik has really, really grown throughout the course of this spring and summer downhill one cut runner with 10-7 uh, home run speed and so we feel like we have as talented a running back core as anybody in the conference. Yeah, I mean anytime you go on the road against an ACC opponent in that environment it's going to be challenging. But as we've shared with our kids you know, a multitude of times, we're not going to back down from anyone. You know, we know that they're going to be a very well coached team. They're not going to beat themselves. Coach Clawson does a tremendous job of developing players uh, and building his system around the skill sets of uh, the players. And so those are the things that we've been tasked with doing also. We're crafting our offense and our defense around the skill sets of our players. And, and we know the things that allow you to go on the road and win these games. Uh, and, First and foremost, offensively, you have to protect the football. You can't turn the ball over. And then defensively and in the kicking game, it's all about field position and stealing ex extra possessions by taking the ball away. So, you know, they're multiple defensively. They give you a lot of different looks and they bring a lot of pressure uh, on third down in particular. Offensively, I think they're challenging because they run what we call slow zone where the running back literally walks into the mesh point uh, with the quarterback, and the quarterback is just reading the second and third level of the coverage to be able to throw the ball in behind the linebackers. And so it's a little bit unique system there. Uh, last year, they were a lot more condensed uh, formations, and so we spent a great deal of time uh, practicing and ruling out how we deal with condensed formations. but. The reality is the first game of the season, you never really know what the team is going to be because personnel dictates what, they, what they're going to feature. And so we've been focused on us, our processes, and making sure we know how to do the things that we believe are going to allow us to win games. We're just excited to play. You know, we've been banging on each other since July 29th. And, uh, all of the work that we put in, and it's, I go back to January 22nd, it's cold. Nobody wants to be up at 6 o'clock running and doing conditioning at that point, but those are the things that are necessary to play and compete at a high level. And our kids have embraced that in every step along the way, uh, from you know eating better to understanding uh, how hydration and rest becomes a significant factor in your growth and development and you know we're just excited to kick this season off. There's been so much work put into it.